entrando la teacher. Yes, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know here. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. Flor. Very good, teacher. All Thank right. you. Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. 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 <laughs> All right. So, um, everything okay, Flor? But you were not in class for a, for a little bit. Yes, but, but I don't. I don't know, Ken, but, but I have been doing exercise in the platform. Ex only. Exercise. Excellent. That's good. Very yes. nice. All right. So, hi, Rocio and Orlando and Walter and Carlos. Very good. How's everybody today? Good. Yeah. Excellent day. Excellent. Very good. So, uh, today we have, well, tomorrow's going to be the last class for this week. And then we have um, one more week and we've finished. All right. So, we're like, it's really, really fast. Yeah. All right. Have you felt it fast, Rocio, or slow? No, really fast. Really fast, eh? <laughs> so, so. Yeah, so, so. All right. Okay. And Orlando, what about you? Have you felt it fast or not that fast? About what, teacher? The, the, the course. It's almost finishing. Next week we'll finish. Yeah, I feel that the course is... Fast. All right. Okay. Very good. How are you doing on the platform, Emilio? Carlos Emilio ya se me puso al día. Oh, he's drinking right now. <laughs> he's drinking right. <laughs> yes, of course. A ver, Flor, ¿por qué? ¿Por qué ejercicio va a la plataforma? What are you working on right now? Um, and the exercise model uh, three, three point four. Okay. But, right. uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very and good. only only five module section five. Hmm. Okay. All right. Very good. Walter, what about you? I almost finished in the section three. Excellent. Teacher. Okay. Orlando, in your case. Uh, section two. I finished the section two. Okay. All right. And Rocio, what about you? What exercise on the platform? Uh, yes, I am almost finishing the number two, uh, lesson number two. You are finishing section two? two section two, yes. Ah, okay, all right. Yes. And Carlos Emilio, what about you? Ya se puso al día, Carlos? Creo que se... Perdón, no le escuché. Ajá. Carlos? No, teacher. Vamos. Con la plataforma. Hi, Annie. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Carlos, ¿qué, qué ejercicio va on the platform? I think he's having problem with the connection. What about Annie? Where, where are you on the platform, Annie? Uh, I, am, I am in the section two. Finishing, beginning, in the middle. Uh, finish section okay. two. Okay, all right. So we're not that bad then, all right? Very good. So we should keep on like working on it. Remember that tomorrow we have the last class for this week. So you should be able to work on your um, platform for the whole weekend, all right? Okay, guys, so what do you know what the topic about today is? No. no, nobody no, has no, studied that. Know. Oh my goodness, what happened? No girls, no <laughs> men. Oh no, we haven't studied that today. Okay, so we're going to okay. study relative clauses today. Mm. Okay, relative clauses, and what they do is they join two sentences. Okay, now for us to use a relative clause, we need to use a relative pronoun. Do you know what the relative pronouns are? No. Okay. Uh, right now, we are only going to study three. We're going to study who, which, and that. Which. Yes. There are more, but right now, we're only going to study those three. Okay? Those are the ones that we study on the platform. 
Uh, they perhaps are like the most common ones. The other ones we use them, but perhaps we can we use who, which, and that a little bit more. All right. So now you understand what relative pronouns are. Um, relative pronouns who, which, that. Now, Rocio, if I talk about who, what, mm -hmm. like when do I use it? When I want to talk about what? Uh, about people. Excellent. About. All right. Yes, about people. Orlando, which. when I say that, no, hold on. Orlando, when I say which, who, who do I want to talk about? Uh, which? which I don't know teacher. okay that's okay Annie what do you think when I say which which is about objects okay and think objects things Ob and places uh -huh. all right maybe all right and what about that uh, Walter uh, it's using for, for, for people and for for things also Yes, for people or for things, okay? So we can use that. Whenever you use that, you can use it for someone or a person or for both. a thing, okay? Both. And yeah, for both. both. Yes, you can use them for both, okay? So when I say, for example, um, he is handsome or the boy is handsome. I have one sentence, the boy is handsome. He's wearing a blue shirt. I have another sentence. Now, a relative close, what it does, it joins two sentences together and gives me more information about the person I'm talking about. So I say the boy or the, hands uh, the, boy, the handsome boy who is wearing a blue shirt. Okay, so I have like more information about which handsome boy because maybe there are many boys in the class or in, or in the neighborhood, okay? So I need, I use the relative clauses to give a little bit more information about that person, okay? Do you okay. understand that? Yes, teacher. It's yeah. not very complicated, I can say, the house which I live in is pink. All right, so I also join those two sentences by using which. All right, yes, yeah, okay. Yes. Guys, give me one, one minute, please. Just give me one second, please. Okay, okay. Sorry guys, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, teachers. All right, so I wanna, I just wanna, um, hold on, let me see here. I wanna share this. Maybe you already saw it, but that's okay. I just want to share this with you just to make sure that you understand that you can watch it later. You can watch the, the, the platform later in case you need to. Just give me a quick second here. Here you go. I'm having a bit of problems with my internet since yesterday. I don't know what's going on.
Okay, I want you to see this here. Yeah. All right. So can you see this? This is in the this is what's on the platform. Okay. About yes. relative clauses. So you use who or that for people. He's an actor. Rocio, can you read it, please? Uh, he's an actor. Uh oh, the, the, the person. Uh, yeah, he, he's an actor. Yeah, the, the one that says uh -huh. use who or that for people. Use who or that for people. He's an actor. He won two Oscars. Okay. Uh huh. So when you join yes. them together, what do you have? Uh huh. He's an actor who won two Oscars. Or? Or he's an actor that won two Oscars. Okay, so which one is correct? Both. Both, uh, right? Uh -oh. Very good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, you can say who or you can say that. And it's going to okay. be okay. All right, very good. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Emilio, can you can you which or that for things? Carlos Emilio, your microphone is off. All right, Walter, can you read? Yeah, now you can, yes, Carlos, thank you. All right, maybe not. Walter, can you read them, please? Okay, uh, use which or that for things. Uh -huh. uh, it's a movie. It is start Kate Winslet. Yes. It's a movie uh, which stars Kate Winslet, or it's a movie that stars Kate Winslet. That's right. Okay. So if you notice, it's not very difficult. What you're doing is you're just joining two sentences and making a longer sentence. Okay. Okay. Uh, teacher, uh, give me a, a, a question. I have a question um, yes. and the who in that um, how do you say substitute it substitute Substitutes? the pronoun substitute the pronouns for That's example. right yes it omits he, it you don't have it, to repeat it again uh, mm -hmm. All okay. right so yeah so you don't say he's an actor who he he's won the two Oscars or he's an actor, he who won two Oscars. You omit the, the, um, the pronoun in this case, or you, you omit the second he. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. You okay. omit it, I mean, if you realize, if you notice, you take the, I mean, you had two sentences at the beginning, and then you make one big sentence or one long sentence, and you remove the period, you omit, and then you replace it for who or for that. And then you have one long sentence. Hi, Daniel. You understand? Who was asking me, Annie? Or what? Flor. Flor se me acaba de preguntar. Yes, yes. Okay. I think yeah. I okay. understand. Okay, yes. So you, you, cannot, you cannot use the relative pronoun and the pronoun. The pronoun. Okay. Uh huh. You know, you cannot do that in one sentence. Okay. Yes. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Very good. So here, uh, what we have to do. This is what I want you to do. I'm gonna send you to your groups, and I want you to think about two sentences. Like for example, like the one that we have here. He's an actor. He won two Oscars. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or it's a movie. It starts Kate. I want you to think about two sentences that contain two small sentences and then you're going to make one relative clause using who or that and then another two sentences for which or for that. You understand? Yes. Yeah? Okay. When we okay. come back, I'm going to have exercises for you. So you can, you can keep on practicing, but it's not a very complicated topic, okay? You just need to realize that for some uh, sentences, you're going to use who, 
and for other ones you're going to use which or you may use that for everything and it's okay all right right okay okay so let's uh, let so uh, in total you need to make four pair of sentences okay and then you're gonna join them with the relative noun to be to make them relative clauses get it Okay. We're not many people in class today. We're only seven plus me, but I'm not going to be, I mean, you guys are working on this while I'm checking your work, but that's okay. So I'm going to have... You know what? I'm going to have three groups. Whoops groups all right there you go guys you can start working when we come back i'm gonna check your sentences and then i'm gonna give you another like other exercises okay okay
please. Chat room. Okay, uh -huh. amen. Uh -huh. Hi, Walter. Uh -huh. That you uh -huh. write, wrote. Yes, I, I, I wrote that. <laughs> uh, okay. What is your sentences? Amen. You say, amen. Ah, okay. Did, did uh, I hear mm. right? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Hold on. Let me see. I okay. And then who mommy was thinking. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is something. I, I look for, I look for example in the topic. Um who hi is Flor, that? hi Daniel. Hi, hi, and I when I understand the, the exercise. I I have I have do no, I I will do a example and they use the who okay and that which yes you can i mean what i want you to do is i want you to make two sentences using who two and sentences. two sentences using which okay but i want you to like come up with like that the um, like as i show you on the platform who that or the example that said um in the platform Mm. Right, uh -huh, that you have two sentences and then you make one long sentence out of those two sentences using the relative pronoun in order to make it a relative clause. You understand? Yes, teacher. Yes. Um, so do you have like some examples so maybe we can check them together? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> I just no. tried to begin with the example, teacher. Ah, okay, that's okay, um, that's okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm gonna give you some more time. I'm gonna go check another group, okay? Okay. okay. <laughs> so. Hi Orlando. Hi Annie. Hi teacher. How are you doing? And Carlos. Also. I am writing in the okay. chat. Okay. On the chat? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna check. Uh-huh. They are athletes. Mm -hmm. They competed yeah. in the Olympic Games. Uh -huh. They are competed, no Annie. They competed. They competed. Uh how do you write? Right. Like, no, how you have it, but just, you don't need the R. Uh, you say they competed in the Olympic Games or they are competing uh, on the Olympic Games. Without R. That's right. Ah, uh, yes, 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 I am wrong. Okay. They, and they are athletes. Who? Who? That's. Who? That's. That's. Compete, compete in the Olympic Games. In the Olympic Games. Mm -hmm. 
Está corregido, Agron. Está corregido ahí. Mm -hmm. they, they are affiliates to that computer. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Do you have another one? No, not for me right now. El otro es... Pero saber si estará bueno ese. Which one? Which Very one? good sentence. Those two sentences are very nice. They are athletes who competed in the Olympic Games. And Carlos, very nice sentence. That's the woman who stole my heart. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I know, eh? <laughs> He's already celebrating Valentine's Day. What about Orlando? Do you have any, any sentence, Orlando? Uh, no, not the chair right now. But you understand, Orlando? Mm, not so much. No, what 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 do you find difficult? Orlando, how can I help you so you understand it? Which I want to. Can you speak in Spanish to yeah, go right ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Eh, me confunde un poco. Luego, por ejemplo, en el ejemplo dice, he's an actor. Uh -huh. Okay. Eh, esa es una persona. Estoy de acuerdo. Okay. Pero después, ¿a ¿qué es lo que está haciendo referencia? No. Regáleme la, la siguiente parte de la oración que ahorita no la tengo conmigo. He won two Oscars. All right. Él es un actor quien ganó dos Oscars. Eso es lo que va a hacer al de, O sea, al unirlo con el, el relative pronoun who, eso es lo que hace, ¿verdad? Unirlo en unir dos oraciones haciéndola una, una sola, uniéndolo con el relative pronoun who o quién. Ok. Ahora, en el caso que es para persona, decimos who. ¿Verdad? Si es para objeto o cosas, decimos which o lugares. Si se okay. le olvida, digamos que el who pertenece a personas y el which para cosas, entonces usamos el that y estamos diciendo exactamente lo mismo. Ok. Ok. En el caso de, de la oración que hizo Annie, dice they are athletes, ¿verdad? Esa era la primera parte de la oración. Ellos son Ajá. atletas. Ellos compitieron en los en Juegos Olímpicos. Ahí tenía dos oraciones, Annie. La une usando el pronombre, el relative pronoun who, y dice ellos son los atletas quienes compitieron en los Juegos Olímpicos. Ok. Entonces ahí lo que hace es información sobre, en este caso, esos atletas, ¿verdad? Porque, ajá, ellos son atletas, ¿y qué pasa? Ah, ellos compitieron en los Juegos Olímpicos, o sea que no son cualquier atleta. Ah, ok. Me da como más información de lo que estoy hablando. Yo le digo, él es un actor, ajá, ¿y qué pasa? Ah, quien ganó dos Oscars, o sea que es muy buen actor. Ok. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ya, Yes. Yeah. Hi, Eduardo. Hi, good evening. Good evening. I was wondering where you are. 
I mean, where you were. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I have meeting all all Wednesday. The between the seven at, at nine. Ah, okay. All all Wednesday. Okay, now I get it. Okay, today okay. Elmer is not in class. You're not. You were not in class. Okay. Gadiel was not in. Is not in class. Oh my goodness! And, Everybody's celebrating Valentine's already. <laughs> no. And and the next um uh you Tuesday. Yes. Uh, uh, is the concert the um Jose Luis Perales. Thursday, I, I know. Thursday. That's the last I, class. Oh no, I'm yeah. gonna cry. <laughs> and, and uh, I'm, I'm, I will go to the. Really? Yes. Wow, yes. lucky you. I can't. <laughs> I have to teach okay. my friend. <laughs> yes. In the in the uh, uh, around two weeks, I I I went to the Eros Ramazotti. Oh my goodness! All right. Because, because my wife is working in the hotel Intercontinental. Uh huh. In the, in the in the corporate corporate. Oh my the, goodness! Uh huh. And and she, ah, uh, es consigue pases. Oh my goodness! En, en la mayoría de conciertos. That's so sorry. nice. I want sorry, to sorry. go. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, right. it's, it's, it, I, I remember the music of Jose Luis Perales. Yeah, of course. It's, it's very nice music. Listen, Eduardo, we're talking today about relative pronouns. Oh, we're like working on unit 3.9, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if you, were, if you had a chance to see it. Relative uh, clauses. I don't know if you studied that topic on the uh, platform. No. Okay, it's not very complicated, okay? So what you do... No, today was very, very difficult for me. Yeah, I imagine. But the topic is not very difficult. I think you're going to understand it really quickly. So what you do is like you have two sentences and you make, you make, it, you make them into one long sentence. For example, we had this uh, sentence on the platform that it says, he's an actor. And the second yes. sentence says, he won two Oscars, okay? And then okay, you join okay. those two sentences by a relative pronoun, who, or ah. that, or yeah, which I remember, I, re mm -hmm. I remember that in the platform. And, and I, okay. eh, eh, lo voy a decir en español, porque me trabé en ese test. Ah, en el, okay. la plataforma, no, no uh, puse, yo creo, correctamente, y algunas no me las agarró. No se las aceptaba. ¿Y se acuerda cuál era, Eduardo? Ahorita estoy en esa, en esa, porque no me gusta pasar si no he terminado algo. O sea, me quedo trabado ahí hasta que pase. Ok, um, all right. Ahí déjeme chequear. Aquí estoy. Ok. Ya le, ya le digo. Ah, porque todas las demás, el Picasso me costó, eh. Sí. Picasso. <risa> Okay, déjeme checar. Sección aquí es supposed to remove me. Sección 3, midterm. Uh -huh, midterm exam. Rewriting sentences. This is the, the leader B. Leader B. In leader B is the, the first, the third. And the the section B or part two, the one and two. Okay. <laughs> this is this is uh because uh, for example the 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 first in the section and the part one is George Lucas directed the Star Wars the Star Wars movies. Right. And I I write the Star Wars the Star Wars movies was directed by George Lucas. Ah, but that's not a relative um, clause because what you have to say is, for example, George Lucas, uh, a director who directed the Star Wars Star movies. Star Wars movies. Uh -huh. You have to use who, that, or a which. Yeah, but it's uh, the Star 
was movies Where, was was, uh -huh. was directed because the the example say uh, reescriba las oraciones en voz pasiva usando by the, ah, it's, okay, it's but by. then you have to say were directed, no was, because if you're talking about many movies. Ah, was. Uh -huh, you're supposed to say, uh, you, you're supposed to use were. Uh, Try with that there. one. Where, let me check. Uh, Eduardo, I'm going to call everybody in, so okay. they, because they were working on a, on a, on okay. an exercise, okay? But I'm, okay. I'm here, I'm gonna be listening to you anyway. So, everybody. Hmm. All right, guys. How are you doing? Were you able to finish? Were you able to finish? Hola, hola. Annie, where are you? Annie and Carlos. Hi. Oh, there is Annie. Hola. All right. Everybody's with me now? Yeah. yeah. Daniel yeah. and Flor de Maria are coming back. All right. Okay, guys. Let's see. Uh, Rocio, give me one sentence that you came up with in your group. Yes. Uh... Uh, uh, we have a question, but uh, in this in these sentences, the woman who works in the bank is my neighbor. Mm -hmm. Is is it correct if we use who in this place? Say it again. For example, uh -huh. we have two. Uh, the woman sentences. who works in the bank. Uh huh. Is my um, neighbor. Okay. The, uh, we have, yeah, we have uh, the woman works in a bank, in the bank, and she's she my, neighbor. my neighbor. That's right, uh -huh. yes. So the uh -huh. woman who but works who? in a bank is my neighbor, that's fine. Okay, okay. All right, okay. very good, okay. Um, let me see, Carlos, can you tell us about uh, the sentences, the sentence that you had? Um, who, uh, who is she? Carlos is frozen again. <laughs> <laughs> the internet. Yeah. Carlos, you're back. Welcome. <laughs> who? Oh, oh, es que te quiere escuchar. Who is she? She is the one who <laughs> oh, stole my heart. <laughs> yeah, she's the woman who stole my heart. Oh my goodness. Very good. All right. Nice. Okay, guys, I want to share this with you so you can practice a little bit more. Can you take a picture of this? Just mm -hmm. give me a second here. Hold on. Um, okay, take a picture of this sentences. So here we have for example, uh, she worked, number one, she worked for a man. The man used to be an athlete, okay? So what you have to do, if you know it, the man used to be an athlete. The man is in italics. So that's the one that you have to omit, and then you have to come up with a, um, a relative pronoun, who or which or that, depends the one that you have to use, and then you make one long sentence. Yes? Okay. So for every number you have two sentences and then you have to make one long sentence joined by a relative pronoun. So you have a relative uh, clause. So we have, I don't know, take a picture from one to 10 and then we have six more, I think. Let me know when you're ready. Finished?
did you guys take a picture yes. already? Yes. Okay. Yes. And then take oh take the four more. Four more pictures. I mean one more one more picture for the four more sentences. Ready? Yes. Okay. So let's go back. We're gonna go back to the groups. I'm just gonna add Eduardo to one of the groups and then work on that worksheet for the rest of the uh, the time. And then we're gonna come up with with the um, answers. So Eduardo, I'm gonna assign you to a group right now. Okay. All right, guys open so click on it so you may go to your groups daniel
correo a su hermano. Su hermano vive en Australia. ¿Quién vive? Sí, está algo confuso. Que vive en Australia. Uh -huh. Ah, envía un correo electrónico a mi hermano. What number are you guys working on right now? Why sería por qué? I think about the person. Teacher, right. in this case, in the number three, uh, is uh -huh. using who or that. You can use who or that because it's... It's a person. The yeah. brother. Yeah. It's, the, it's about the brother. I sent an email to my brother who lives in Australia. Mm -hmm. to my brother. The object is the brother. Right. Or you say, I send an email to my brother that lives in Australia. <laughs> you can use who because it's a person or that, uh -huh. and it's okay. Oh, okay. That, is, that is for both, for which and for mm -hmm. who. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, uh... mm -hmm. Okay, number... 11. My sister has three children. My uh, who, who lives or that lives in Australia. Mm -hmm. That's good. The weather was good. Who was wearing a blue shirt? Okay. Okay. 13. Uh, the money is. The money? The money. The money. Sorry, That's okay. the money in the in the kitchen and uh, which belong to John. Okay. That's correct. And the last one? Uh, 14, right? Yeah, 14. What? What? The table got broken. Uh, that, that was my grandmother's. Mm -hmm. Repeating, the table got broken. That was my mother's. My grandmother's. Yes. Grandmother's. Mm -hmm. Era de mi abuelita. Mm -hmm. Can you say that okay. again, Walter? Number 14. The table got broken, which, which was my grandmother's. Mm. The got broken is not in the proper place. Oh. It's better if you say the table which was my grandmother's got broken. Mm. It's better. Yes. Right. Um. Or the table that was grand the the table that was my grandmother's got broken. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But the word broken goes at the end. Ah, okay. Yes. I, I have a doubt about the number five. Uh huh. Uh, we broke the computer. The computer belonged to my father. We broke the computer. Uh, no, no. Uh huh. We, it's we not broke five. it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We broke the computer, which belonged to my grandfather. To my father. My father. Ah, to my father, yes. Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh -huh. uh, no, it's, it's the number seven, because the, it's in plural, books. Uh-huh. She loves books. Uh-huh. That have happy ending. Sure. Or those... No, 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 no. Which no. have happy ending? Which or that? Ah, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't the, matter the, the, the first... if, if it's plural. Yes. No, it doesn't matter. Which can be plural or singular? Okay, okay. With that, okay. It's okay. only join, join the two sentences. That's okay. right, yes. And it mm -hmm. gives more information about what kind of book she loves. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you finished all of them? Yes, yes, teacher. All right. Yes, teacher. Very good. Just give me one more minute. I think another group is not finished. And then we're going to check them, okay? Okay. Okay. okay.
Which? Uh, hi, Annie. Which hi, bank? Carlos. Hi, Dab teacher. Wish. What number are you working on? Number. Number, number five. five. Number five. Number five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yes. We wrote them. Ah, no, sería wife. Why? Porque sería ahí why. Wish. Why, va? Wish, wish, perdón. Ajá. Uh -huh. Wish. Ajá. Uh -huh. We wrote the yes. computer. Which? Wish. 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 To my father. Wish. Mm-hmm. Sería... Uh -huh. Sí que perteneció a mi Ajá. padre. Ok. Sí. Which belong to my father. Así, así sería entonces. Uh -huh. Yes. Which belong to my father. Yes. Así sería. Uh -huh. Which belong, which. Ajá, which. Number six. Number six. Number six. I drop. A glass. Ah, I draw a glass which was new. Que era nueva. Which was new. Que era nueva. Big. Big. Was new. Big. 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 All right, guys, so I'm going to show you the, um, the answers. So you double check. Okay, and this is how it should look like. Just give me a second here. All right, so these are the answers. Can you hear me? Yeah? Yeah. All right, uh, hold on. <coughs> Okay, so we have number one, this is how it should like look like if it's correct, okay? So number one, it says she worked for a man who mm. or that used to be an athlete. Mm -hmm. Number two, they called a lawyer who or that lived nearby. Yeah. Remember that you can use who or that and it's okay, it's the same thing. I sent an email to my brother who lives in Australia, or I sent an email to my brother that lives in Australia. Number four, the customer liked the waitress who was very friendly. Number five, we broke the computer which belonged to my father. Mm -hmm. All right, number six, I dropped a glass which was new or that was new. You cannot say who because a glass mm -hmm. is an object as yeah. well as a computer. Number six, she, I mean, seven. She loves books which have happy endings or that have happy endings. Number eight, they live in a city which is in the north of England. Number nine, the man who, the man who's wearing the jumper is in the garden. Number 10, the girl who or that is from India works in a bank. My sister who lives in Australia has three children. The waiter who was wearing a blue shirt was rude. The monk, uh, the money, I thought it said the monkey, the money mm. which belongs to John is in the kitchen. Mm. The table which was, yeah, which was my grandmother's got broken. That was the last one, right? 14? We had yeah, 14 the last sentences? One. Yeah, all right. Okay. Only, Very good. only 14. Yeah. I mean, we had 16, but that's okay. Uh, 14 was enough. So I don't know, maybe you wanna take a picture in case you wanna like finish your exercise and keep the right answers and just kind of you have, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, all right guys, very well. We're gonna continue tomorrow. We're gonna probably um, start section four tomorrow, okay? Okay. Okay, remember that we only have next week left and tomorrow of course, but then next week. 
And for okay. the ones that are going to the concert next week, you only have like four more days of classes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thank you very much, guys, for being in class. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow, teacher. Okay, see you tomorrow. Night. See you see tomorrow. tomorrow. Thank have you very much. Night. You're very bye. welcome. Bye. bye. Good night. Bye. 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 bye.